Welcome to episode three of Quarantine Questions with Jack Heron. I'm here with uh, 2021 big man Efton Reed of Steward School. Uh, Efton, how you doing during all this? Man, I'm doing good. Just blessed to be alive. I feel you, man. As you can see, it's about day 37 of the quarantine, as you can tell with both me and Efton's hair right now. Uh, yeah, we yeah. out here struggling a little bit. A lot, but, man. A lot. <laughs> but, hey, man, it, as always, it could be worse. It could be worse. So let's get right into it, man. Uh, so earlier in the season, I had talked to you. You were talking about going to 2020, but you've recently decided to stay in the 2021 class. What were some of the factors that went into that decision for you? Oh, well, some of the factors were just, you know, staying my mom extra year and just developing my body as a basketball player for the next level and just be ready to start, you know, the next level. But me and my mom are still, like, trying to figure out because, you know, I don't know where this coronavirus is going to take everybody with AAU. So I might be able to still go 20, but I, don't, I just don't know with this Rona stuff because if next year I'm just going to be doing online school and I have no basketball, I might as well just, you know, probably go to 2020 and probably develop my body for, you know, college level. So I, I just, we just, we just don't know right now. So. So the decision's still up in the air right now. Um, yeah, basically. Yeah. I mean, cause I didn't know Corona was going to happen. So, I mean. So, so what schools are, are still, trying to get you to come 20 is it basically all of them or is there um, yeah, basically, basically all of them basically but some schools just tell me that you know i don't care if you go 20 or 21 we still want you we're, we're going to recruit you in both classes so yeah that makes sense that makes sense um so what makes you different than some of the other big name big men in the 2021 class you would say makes you different um i feel like i'm a, a vocal leader on the court I want the uh, best for my guys. I'm a very unselfish big, and uh, every 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 possession I uh, attempt to you know win every possession and just lead my guys, basically. And what do you think you've uh, improved on in the past couple of years to you know separate yourself? Um, my shot, my shot's gotten a lot better throughout the years. Uh, my mobility has gotten a lot better, and me just being a vocal person because I, I really pride myself in communication on the court. So we were talking about how it how it's affected your um, recruitment. Just tell me how has COVID as a whole like really affected your recruitment as far as, you know, I'm sure you plan on taking visits and mm -hmm. and, and going to see some schools. What have you been doing that's that's different uh, with everything going on? Uh, um I've I've planned to take I was planning to take some, uh, but now I can't. But I've been trying to take we're gonna try to see if I could take some next year. But I've been doing, like, I've done, like, three virtual visits so far. So that's pretty good. Like, you know, people are saying, you know, what they offer to the table and, you know, how they put the PowerPoint on the table, um, the screen and stuff. So that's been pretty good. But now I'm just trying to, you know, trying to see who's just, you know, who wants me, who, who just needs me instead of just wants me, basically. Uh, what, what schools did you take virtual tours with? Um, NC State, Maryland, and Ohio State. Did any of those, like, stand out to you? Any of them that you really liked? Um, yeah, Ohio State uh, ones was, was really nice. They uh, talked about me, you know, just being – having a lot of diversity in my game and being versatile and, you know, just basically allowing their bigs to do what they want, basically. And, and um, Maryland's was really good, too. I like, I like theirs a lot. And um, NC State was very different because they, um, they want me to play the four – instead of the five basically so that was really different in my perspective because most of these schools are recruiting me you know to play the five and a little bit of four instead of just mainly the four so that really stuck out to me because you know I can play the four at the next level you know stretch the floor out and shoot the three and uh do off the dribble um you know dribble moves and stuff so that's that was really that really stuck out to me about what they wanted me to do at the next level so take me through what one of these virtual tours looks like. I mean, is it on campus? Is it, uh, like you said, the PowerPoint? What, what, what do they do? Um, basically, it's like a Zoom call like, like we're doing right now. And it's basically just having a PowerPoint. And they're just showing me the campus and showing me the, their accolades and, you know, the coach's history. And what um, the, the, the slide that sticks out to me the most is what they're going to do with me and how am I going to fit in their system in their style of play, basically. That's the slide that sticks out to me. Yeah, man, you're big time doing virtual tours now. <laughs> Jeez. Um, so without AAU or the big camps this summer, I know you were a standout at, at top 100, but it looks like we're probably not going to have that this year. 
what have you been doing to stay sharp and, and stay in, in shape and things like that? Um, well, I've been uh, doing my own workout, and I've been working out with um, a virtual trainer that I have. Um, his name is Ed Downs, and I've been working with him, and he's been teaching me a lot of stuff that um, I can do, you know, with my uh, mobility and my, you know, he's just doing, like, a lot of resistant bands and mobility stuff with me, and he's uh, teaching me a lot of different workouts I'm doing. So I've been, you know, I just started training with him a couple of weeks ago, and I've been just try trying to do a lot of push-ups and just run just cardio and stuff so he's been teaching me a lot about that do you have a hoop at home or a, a park you can go to to get no, shots I up don't. i have a i have a basketball court that i have like down the street so i've been i've been going up there with my brother and we just been getting up a lot of shots they they haven't closed that one down all the ones by my house they closed down and won't let you go get shots up it's been it's been really affecting my jump shot lately you know <laughs> no but the one in my like my my desk my designated um like hoop court from our from our neighborhood, they lock that, so it's like a big gate around it. So we can't hoop there. So we go go up to a secret location up there. I'm not gonna you know say it in here because I don't want to take it down. Can't say you can't say. You know everybody in Mechanicsville is gonna hear this interview. So exactly, exactly. <laughs> so when it's all said and done with everything, if you do still stay 21, um, do, what visits do you plan on taking when you can take them? Um. Oof. I plan on taking a, um, a one in Iowa State. They already offered me. I'm giving you, you know, inside exclusive, you know. <laughs> um, Florida State, they offered me, um, I think, a while back, but I just didn't announce it. And um, Texas has been the um, – I want to visit out there. They've been uh, recently uh, texting me and calling me. I just got the phone with Strong Smart yesterday. I want to visit out there. And um, – who else? Um, NC State, when this is done, I want to visit down there. And, um, huh? I mean, yeah, of course, yeah. My mom said Georgetown. Yes, of course, Georgetown. That was the one I was missing. I meant to take an official up there this year, but I just couldn't because of Corona and stuff. And um, who else? Miami. I want to go down there to see what they – <laughs> Hi there. Uh, they've been recruiting me. How are you, Jack? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm good. Now let me just tell you, Mechanic this, this, this is this is recording, Mom. So this is, is going on. a good on. place to live. Come to Rutland. <laughs> Rutland is a great place to live. I see your texts on Twitter. <laughs> so, so if y'all didn't know, I have been talking about moving to possibly Mechanicsville. And Afton and his mother are trying to get me to move out there so we can all be best friends. Well, yes, now, sir. we don't. We live in Rutland. We don't live in the rural parts. Mm -hmm. We live in, in, like, the community where, like, the plaza, you know, the Atley Kroger, all that's, like, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, just, it's, just, it's a great place. A lot of young people here, you know, really nice, really nice. So I just want to put my dibs into that. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to tell my fiancé. <laughs> Look, uh -oh. you can't be on the Zoom call and his mom not say hi. Of course not. I was going to tell him to tell you I said hi. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, um, where were we again? Uh, the, uh, the visits? Yes, yes. Okay, and um, I want to take a visit to... Uh, who, who else has been recently reaching out to me? Michigan. I want to I see what they have out there. And um, Maryland, too. Maryland, too. I want to uh, visit out there. There's a lot of schools I got to, you know, want to visit, but I have to, you know, just sit down and, you know, just focus on the ones I, you know, I really got to visit and stuff. Have there been any schools that have been standing out to you? Anything that, uh, you know, you, you really are liking? You don't have to give me total access, but anybody um, that's, that's been standing out? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I should say it on camera. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You can text it to me later. I won't yeah, tell nobody. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you later. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely hit you later, but I don't know if I'm going to say it on camera because, you know, it's just reasons because I'm so humble. I don't, I don't really talk, like to talk about what I, you know, choose. Yeah, so, so, so you're, you're different than most of the people in this day and age who, who run straight to Twitter and announce when they get an offer. Uh, you're a guy who, who keeps a lot of that close, close to you and your mom. Um, who, wh what is the reason behind you doing that? Would you say? Um, I just say I just basically say humble and stuff, and don't boast about 
what I have. Because, like, I believe like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a God for her man. And God tells us not to boast. So, like, I really, I feel like that would me be boasting and, you know, what I have and to other people and stuff. And I just feel like God, God is leading me on this path. So why should I tell other people, you know, where I, where I, what I have and where I should potentially go. But I mean, I'm some, so with some people, I'm just loose with it, but other people, I'm just, I just it just really doesn't care to me. I just, I'm just being humble in this process. Basically. I really don't choose to boast on my offers. I like that, man. It's, it's different. It's different. Yeah. So we're going to go to this uh, rapid fire section of this. It's going to be five questions. You just give me quick answers for it. Uh, what's your favorite pregame meal before a game? Pregame meal. I go to Panera with my boy Jabari. Uh, I have mac and cheese and a, a side of Caesar salad with a baguette. You got to have the baguette with the, uh, the butter. Got to have that. <laughs> and that's before every game? For every game. For every home game. But, Stuart, I got that. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite basketball movie? Basketball movie? Um, I think Coach Carter. That movie was tough. Yeah, based on a true story, too. Exactly. Uh, who's your GOAT? Who's your greatest of all time? Okay, so it's funny you said this because right now I'm kind of like, I don't know, because it was LeBron, but after watching two episodes of The Last Dance, like, I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> I've never really, like, watched Michael Jordan because, you know, I'm a LeBron guy. I grew, I grew up watching LeBron and stuff, so it's just like, I don't know who to pick as my GOAT now. So I've been trying to tell the, the, the younger generation the one thing about Michael Jordan that people don't understand is that he was the most universally loved athlete. Everybody mm. loved Michael Jordan. Where right now we got that some people like LeBron, some people hate LeBron. Everybody loved Michael Jordan. And I think that, that your generation will really see that through this documentary. Man, I, I was shook between the two episodes and it's 10 episodes. I was like, I need the full 10 episodes right now. Like, <laughs> exactly, man. How, how am I supposed to wait another, another week for two more episodes? Exactly. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do outside of uh, basketball? Uh, spend time with my family and um, just vibe and chill. Like, that's, that's all I really do is just chill. Yeah. And uh, what's your best basketball memory? Best basketball memory? Um, working out with uh, my coach on the, uh, the blacktop because he used to be on my tail. <laughs> uh, he really pushed me and player I am today. And I remember uh, I went out there. It was like 90 degrees. My mom dropped off like four water bottles for us. And we were just out there grinding. That's my really my favorite uh, basketball memory because I choose to like look back on the little things uh, to the player I'm wearing today because without that type of grind, like I wouldn't be the player I am today. Nah, I feel you. Uh, and last question, what do you think uh, you don't get enough credit for as a player? Um... This is a tough question. Um, <laughs> I couldn't give you all softballs, man. Probably, true, true. Probably uh, me blocking shots because I don't really block shots in high school because, like, high school rest be trying to be, get me out the game because of my size. So, I mean, in AAU, like, I be blocking shots because the rest understand, you know, we bigs and stuff. But I feel like I don't get like, enough credit about me blocking shots because I can't block shots as a shot blocker. And if you had um... – one thing to say to a coach as to why they should recruit you, what would you say? Um, I'm a humble, I'm an honest person, and I always will work hard for them. All right, man. Hey, I appreciate you taking my time uh, or taking time with me. Uh, Efton Reed, one of the top big men in the country for the class of 2021 or 2020, depending on what he chooses <laughs> to do moving forward. But thanks for taking your time, man. Uh, tell your mama thank you for, for letting you do that. And I appreciate you guys being on here with me. Appreciate you for having us. Thank you. All right, buddy. Get back to work. Yes, sir. All right. Where'd it go?